Yeah, thank you, Mr. Uh, Javis. You see, it is their right. But when I say, and I ask the question, are you cursed? It's because in the face of glaring suffering, people carry find room to take insignificant things and put in front to cover the uh, mass suffering that the people are going through. I mean, you cannot imagine that somebody will come and tell you that cocoa prices are fine. When everybody knows that cocoa prices are not the work of, of CPDM or of any government, it is international market. And then you, you forget that your people are really suffering. I just said you forgot about the, 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 the chiefs. Yes, I asked the question chiefs. how many of our chiefs are on their thrones, are sitting on their, in their villages, governing their people? How many? They have all run away. I get my, they know my own village. If you like, I come from a village, go and check. Uh, my, our chief is in America. The regent that he left is in Boya. Who is governing the village? And it is not that. How many schools in our villages are functional? Ha, ha, that's why I ask. How can our people be suffering like this? Acquire. I talk of acquire. Till today, 60, 60 how many years of independence? There's no road going to acquire. To go to acquire, you have to pass through Nigeria. It's terrible. Wonderful. The same like I, I, the same that is the reason why I'm asking. In the face of this of glaring suffering, you find reason to come and say that because of cocoa price, Mr. B, I should continue. Are you cursed? I ask the question again. Are you cursed? I want to come back to what my good friend here said. He said, um, I was wrong to say that the, uh, the, the people were calling for this. That they were not manipulated. That they were not, they were not manipulated. They, we, we saw their faces. How can, some, how can you say somebody is being manipulated? Is, the, the images show, show the people who were, who were giving the directives. We saw them. And I even said they were Dimabola politicians. <laughs> Yes, you see, we know them. We saw them. Ah, uh, so they should understand that the interest of the people is what should be in front, not their personal interest. Not their personal interest. I spend all my time down here. If I were like them, I would never want anything to, to, to have anything to do with the village. But mind you, is my prime concern. Is my prime concern in our place. You, a son or a daughter, you should not be buried abroad. Yes. Ha! So, if all of us now only close our eyes and say we're living where in Dwala and Yaoundé, what becomes of our whole homeland? I mean, I would like to drive home over the weekend and enjoy my uh, all the, the, the goodies that are there. You people here know that from Manu, you, you have better fufu and eru and uh, 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 tancho soup. No, sir. Go there, you will see that there are so many dishes that you have not discovered. You will never want to come back. Now uh, let us come back to this uh, this uh, this other part this other part that concerned um, the people who were saying that uh, uh, Mr. Bia should stand. Look, there is a video that came from Extreme North where somebody is saying, "If you see any CPDM person, send him away." They showed the National Road Number One. I think you have seen that video. This is National Road Number One, and remember, CPDM says that all their voters come from the from the North and Extreme mm -hmm. North. That if the people of extreme law are saying that look this is national road number one that looked like a potato farm it looked like a potato farm with machines standing there and a long line of trailers even a bike could not pass on that road <laughs> that man said look this is the road the food that should come down from the south to come and feed people up here nothing is coming so why do you think cpd will go and get the voters from the north as they used to say that they are voters are for the these are these are people from the north who have said that is one number two the memorandum of the grand north it is not Ashu that wrote it you saw we all saw chiroma defend it former minister chiroma defended the memorandum of grand north said, minister now eh? former communication oh sorry, sorry he's still minister he said enough is enough it is time that something should be done for them has that that thing been done been done no sir they are still supporting the regime now so how do you think the ex the ground up is going to vote cpdm okay when but, their enemies have come out and said do this okay. do that otherwise we're not with you Good